Welcome to the channel. It's puzzle time again with a new case with Sudoku Sleuth. Now today's case is Odd Deja Vu by GDC. I admit when I see the word GDC I can't help but think of the General Dental Council here in the UK. That's the um, body that governs the actions and oversees the activities of all the dentists here. And I doubt the author really intended to make their initials or handle mean this that though. Now, presumably the puzzle is called deja vu because you can see each of these column of boxes are essentially largely identical to one another, just shifted one cell down. Hence, deja vu. Um, now, on this channel, we are often solving Sudoku variants, meaning they're Sudoku puzzles with a twist that allows us to fill in a grid that's completely devoid of numbers such as today's puzzle where GDC has given us zero digits to get started. Uh, I'm sure if you know any dentists in the UK, you're not entirely surprised since at dinner parties, complaints about inaction or unhelpfulness of the GDC is a favorite topic of theirs. Now, before I offend anyone at GDC, although it may be already too late, let's take a look at today's puzzle rules. So normal Sudoku rules applies. So place the digits one through to nine in each row, column, and box in the grid. The digits along each arrow must sum to the digits in the circle cell. We've seen this before on the channel. So, I mean, take a look at this giant arrow here. These five cells are gonna to have to add up to whatever is placed in this cell. And I imagine that's gonna be extremely restricted on these very lengthy cells. Um, what else do we have here? Cells filled with a filled circle must be odd. So these digits here have to be odd numbers. So one, three, five, seven, or nine, and not two, four, six, or eight. And that's all the rules we have for today. So let's get to solving this puzzle. And I'm just gonna restart the clock. And actually, before I do that, if you wanna play along, Link as usual will be in the description down below. And with that said, let's get started. So I'm immediately looking at these arrows and their sums, because I think if we make these the minimum, so that, you know, this is gonna be a minimum of one, two, three, because they're all seeing each other in the same column. This is a minimum of one, two. And again, same reason, they see each other in the same column. So, that's one, two, three, that's six. That's one, two, that's three. Six and three is a nine. And indeed, that's the largest digits we can place in here. So because this um, puzzle is quite similar, you can obviously apply the same logic for each of these arrows. Let's take a look at what else is in here. So one, two, that's gotta be the three. You know, if the, if the three is down here, let's say, then this will be one, two. There'll be another one, two in here. Let me, let me try, let me try and show I'm not being particularly articulate. Um, in fact, it could be a three down here, can't it? I don't know, for some reason, I immediately looked at this and I thought, that's got to be the three. Right. Well, let's first figure out where the threes are on here. So this isn't the three. We want to be the three to be in this box. And the reason I say that is, if this is a three, that's one, two, and then we end up repeating the digits in here. And clearly, then that wouldn't add up to nine. So the three has to be on these two cells. The cell, The three has to be on these three cells. And let me just put a three in here for a second. Any of these could be a three. Yeah, so to minimize this, you would make these a one, two pair. You would make this a three and you would make this a one, two pair. And I think if you do it any other way, you're not gonna be able to make it add up tonight. So one, two pair in the row, 
that's three in here. Um, then we know we need a three in there. We don't know which one it is just yet. Um, let's have a look what else. Oh, yeah, we do. That's a one, two pair. That's the three. That's not the three. One, two pair. You know, whenever I see lots of one, two pairs dotted around as such, I immediately get tempted to color, but I'm going to resist that temptation just yet. So we know looking at these one, two pairs in this column of boxes, one, two pair have to be up here. And same is true in there. One, two pair have to be up here. It's not true over here though. So there's already a one, two in there. And we know that both of these columns have used up their, essentially their one, twos. So there's a one, two in here. And then a second one, two must be down here. And looking at the row, we can actually place it. That's the other one, two, and there's one up here. Um, let's keep going. So arrows in the middle, these have to be a minimum of four, five, which is also the maximum they can be because that would put a nine. Same is true for this arrow. And presumably, yes, one, two, and the three in the row. So these are a minimum of four, five, and that's a nine. And now I'm looking at these digits because they see one, three, five, and nine. So this can only be a seven. Same is true for this one, one, three, five, and nine. This can only be a seven. And remember, circles that are filled in, such as this one, have to be odd. So we've got one, three, five, and nine. That's also a seven. Can we keep going with these? So that's a six, eight pair. Let's just fill in the easy ones for the moment. Six, eight. Now, where does three go in here? That's got to be the three. That's the six, eight. In fact, we know what the order is because if that's a three and this is a six we'd need a second three in the column and clearly that's not possible under normal sudoku rules so that's the eight that's a five that's a one two pair that's a six and it will help us disambiguate quite a bit of the grid actually so we're off to a fantastic start with this puzzle today Right, now I'm looking at these circles now. So they see one in the box, five in the row, seven and nine in the column. This has to be three. And actually this is a four, this is a five. So this sees one in the column, three, five and nine. This has to be a seven. That's one, seven, and nine. This is one of three or five. Doesn't seem like there's anything to disambiguate it necessarily. Let's see what's this. So this is, you can see it's nine and seven, one and two, or really one, seven and nine. That's also one of three or five. That sees one, three, nine. That's five or seven. That sees one, three, nine that's also five or seven it's nearly all the hints we've been given and i just can't believe that sudoku is what's meant to help us solve it from here so there's clearly other things that i may be missing that i just need to spot so i'm taking a look at this cell or at least this arrow, I should say. So there are three ways of adding up to an eight with two cells, one, seven, two, six, and three, five. Now it can't be three, five because they both see this cell. So if we try and make this a three, five pair, that cell wouldn't be able to have any value. So this is one of one, seven, or 
to 6, both of which are valid. Whatever this digit is, we know that there is a 1, 2 somewhere in this column, but it can't be in here. Because, you know, if this is, let's say, the maximum of those is 2, it will require two ones, which is not possible. So this has to be greater than 3. Well, it definitely has to be greater than 3. So that's a minimum of 4 with a 1, 3 pair. Can't be 5. Could be 6. But not 7 or 8. So it's only 1 of 4 or 6. And it's either a 1, 3 pair, a 1, 5 pair, or a 2, 4 set. That's quite a lot of options, really. OK, let's look elsewhere. Um, so we still need to place so 1, 2, 4, 6, and 8. We still need to place an 8 in this row. Nothing obvious. We need to place a 9 in this box. This is the only place a 9 can go. Um, we should actually take a look at the 9s everywhere. There's a 9 in here. And a 9 in here as well. So that's the most complete column. So we've got we need a 6 or 7 in here. That's helpful. That's a 5 then. And then we need 8 or 4. And we don't know the order of these. 4, not 5. We need a 7. We know where that 7 is. Plus a 4, 8 pair. We need a 6 with 4, 8. We don't know where any of these are for the moment. 1, 2, 3. So where does 6 go? So many options. That can't be it. Right, let's look elsewhere. So where does 8 go? One of two locations. It's not quite enough any of this it's probably like a pair that I am missing somewhere that would help us break through I suspect or maybe we are going to need to color these one twos maybe that's not a bad idea right so I'm going to color this one purple blue purple blue Purple. You don't necessarily have to listen to me repeating the colors as I complete this. Oh, this has to be one two, because where where would the sec where would the blue one two go? It's none of these, it's not in here, and it's none of these. So that's a blue one, two, that's not a six, and therefore that's not a two. So we know we need a blue one, two in here. We need a purple. This is the purple one, two, because you know, one and two cannot possibly add up to an eight. So that's blue, that's not blue, not one to even, that's purple, that is blue. Has that helped at all? So that's a four, six, eight. I mean, it certainly cleaned up the grid quite a bit, but I don't know if it's necessarily helped us just yet. So it's a one, two pair.
there you go that seven stares at this six seven pair here so that's six that's two and in fact all the blues are now two all the purples are now one two can't be on a two cell arrow with a four so that's six that's four five four um, we need a three seven we know the order three and seven we need an a three five eight we don't know or these are necessarily just know this is not a five in fact we do know sorry three we just we literally just placed it so that's the three eight five um, that needs to be four six nine that's not nine and that needs to be eight or five we don't know the order here these need to be from six four and eight let me just pencil this mark pencil in that's not four that's not six so that is the six that's a four eight pair that's not six either another four eight pair that's not three and where does three go in this row it can only go in this cell and that's from four five or eight all of which appears to be possible right now have i missed any of these four fives no so we need to place a four five eight that's five eight so that should tell us this is a seven five that's the five eight five we don't know yet about these four five pairs so that's okay so the eight must be down here there we go Let's say six nine pair. We don't know the order of these. But we do know this is a four. That can't be six nine pair. I must have made a mistake somewhere. Um, let's see if I can spot where that mistake was so we need a six in here yeah let me just rewind a little bit yeah that couldn't have been this that must have been the six that must have been the four that is not a six that's four yeah that looks correct now so that's nine four six seven six nine three and seven that's a phenomenal puzzle gdc you know thank you so much for creating it um apologies for that small error at the end but hopefully that was still an enjoyable solve for you guys do let me know how you got along and we'll see you tomorrow for the next case.